All right, everybody. Um, this is Bill Warren. He is the owner of the gold mine in Hudson, North Carolina, and one of the great marketers of all time. And Bill, congratulations. You're the winner of the 2011 Magic Wand Award Thank for, you. for the Marketing Wizards Alliance. Bill's been a longtime member of the Marketing Wizards Alliance, a coaching client. And um, what I would like to sh you to share with us a little bit right here now, Bill, is your marketing philosophy. Absolutely. Well, let me just back up five years and, and, and just say this, folks. Uh, I've, I've been in the jewelry business basically all of my life. I started out as a uh, really a rock hound and then got into it from there. I, got, uh, I became a goldsmith. And I thought because when I was one of the best goldsmiths around, everybody would do business with me. <laughs> then I thought, well, okay, that's not working, so let's try something else. Okay, I'll learn to do watch repair. So because I was the best goldsmith and watch repairman in the area, I thought everybody would do business with me. If you build it, they will come. Huh, well... They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept on. I became a registered gemologist and appraiser. But here's the thing. Just because I was the best at what I do, they still didn't come. Folks, when I made the switch, and Jim helped me with this, as he can help you with this. Uh, when I made the switch from being a jeweler and becoming a marketer of jewelry and jewelry-related services, that's the day I started down the road to success and that's when I started seeing profits in my store, and I was able to grow exponentially. It's been a wonderful journey. Yeah, you, you had mentioned uh, in one of your testimonials for us a little bit earlier that the, the growth was frightening. It was, it, uh, and it come in floods. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. It, it's a good it's the problem. kind of problem people need to have. And yeah. now look, Bill, look, the recession has been going on since... Two, late 2007, early 2008. What was your year like last year in the midst of all this recession and all this whining about how bad the economy is? Folks, it was my best year ever. And, and I say that truthfully, and I, I'm not bragging, but I am saying this. I'm very grateful. I don't choose to participate in the recession. There's business to be had. You've just got to go after it, and you've got to do it in the right way. Okay, and just give us a, a couple of ideas about things that you've done this year that have worked. We could always, there's always things that don't work, and so, but there's no point in us talking about those. Let's talk about a couple of the projects that you undertook this year that worked that you felt good about. Well, the biggest one thing that I can lay my finger on and say this really worked well was my Black Friday promotion. Mm -hmm. And... That was a, uh, it was a integrated mailing. I did a postcard to 10,000 of my best clients, inviting them in. I did also a voice broadcast in connection with that a few days after the postcard had hit. Right after that and on the hills a couple of days before the event, I did an email blast using constant contact. And on top of all this, I was doing Facebook marketing at the same time. All of that came together, the pieces of the pie, the puzzle fit. And Jim, I, I literally, the morning of Black Friday, and people are saying, well, I can't do business in a jewelry store on Black Friday. Everybody's at Walmart. Everybody's at Best Buy. That morning, and when I say something is frightening, when I got to my store in a small town of 3,800 people, there were 500 customers. My parking lot was full. And for two hours, I helped over 500 customers. No, not just looking, buying. <laughs> what, what else do I need to say? Think about that, folks. What Bill's saying is exactly right. Small businesses tend to look at that Black Friday thing, and I have to confess, I've been sucked into that myself. I've recommended to small businesses, hey, Try to get your Black Friday stuff done a week early or a week late. Don't try to compete against Walmart and Best Buy on Black Friday. Well, here's a guy in a town of 3,800 people that competed well with those big box stores. Think about that. 500 people in over two hours. <laughs> no wonder you call it your best promotion of the year. And that's the reason why Bill is the Magic Wand winner. And the other thing that I want to point out about what Bill just said is the nature of the integrated nature of what you did. You wow. didn't just send them a direct mail piece. You didn't just send them a, uh, a constant contact. You didn't just send them 
a, uh, a telephone call. You did all three together. Integrated marketing will almost always increase your response. Now you did one other thing that I thought was brilliant to take advantage of this. When you got to the store and you saw the lineup of people, while you were going to serve those 500 people, you also weren't going to let a good opportunity slip past you. Ooh. So how did you take advantage of that for the future? Well, a few things. I got my smartphone out. I went and started interviewing a few of those clients. Excellent. Why are you here? What brought you in today? And uh, I, I shot video of it. I took pictures of the front and the back. And you know, uh, Jim, I sent you pictures. My front door looked mm -hmm. the same way. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> so, so uh, you know, you, you, you need to take that time uh, to invest and think about these kind of things. One other thing that we did, we preempted the newspaper by saying a few days in advance, I called one of the reporters who is a friend and I said, hey, uh, Paul, I I'd like to see you down here at the store because I want to show you that a small retailer in a small town can be successful on Black Friday competing against all these other big box retailers and in despite of a place that has 13% unemployment wow. in a town of 3,800 people, you can do business for one. We need to offer some hope to some people in the area. The newspaper came and took a picture of the customers as they were coming in the door. Front page the next day, folks. Front page advertising. I couldn't buy that. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Because newspapers don't generally sell advertising on page one. So he's, he's exactly right. He literally couldn't buy that. That's tremendous. That, that, that speaks to the marketing mindset. And again, a reason why Bill is the Magic One winner. And I ought to point out, too, that we're coming to you from the Ackerman Retreat in beautiful Park City, Utah. Because as the Magic One winner, Bill won a week-long trip to Utah, to Park City, and uh, it's a beautiful place to be. It's great. And uh, anything else you'd like to say regarding uh, the help that you've gotten from the Marketing Wizards Alliance? Well, here's the thing, folks. You constantly need to be sharpening your axe. If you're subscribing to the newsletter, just as I am, you're keeping those ideas fresh. You're keeping them flowing up here at all times. Jim's keeping you sharpened up, and he's bringing you... New technologies, as they come out, the QR code thing, hey, he was right on it, made me aware of it, and now I'm using it to my store's benefit. So take the newsletter. Don't just let it sit here on a table. Read it. Get a marker out. I, I, every time that thing comes, that's one of the first things I do. I don't want anybody to bother me for an hour or two until I get done with that letter and I've marked all over it and I've made notes. That's the way you use this service. And call him. He's there to help you. Boy, please take, take that advice. Call me. You have free consultation, free ad critiques available. Few people take full advantage of that. Bill is one who does. I get to see his stuff before it goes out many times because he wants me to give it a once-over, give it a critique. You could take advantage of that same. You should take advantage of that same opportunity. You must take advantage of that same opportunity. You're paying for it. Why wouldn't you take advantage of that opportunity? Two hands are better than one. Exactly. Bill, congratulations Thank on being the 2011 Magic Wand winner. It's a pleasure. And thanks for joining me out here in Park City. Thanks for having me. Take care.